Hello everyone and welcome to Until Dawn. My name is Hawkward and like my other series that I just started, The Evil Within, um, I know a lot of people have played this before, but I haven't. I haven't played a lot of horror generally and it's free on PlayStation Plus this month so I thought why the hell not get stuck into it, right? From what I can see, the graphics look amazing, and best of all, this features Peter Stamare, or Stormare, not sure on the pronunciation, but I love him. He's in so many of my favourite films. He's such a good actor, he's hilarious and amazing and wonderful, and I'm really excited to see what he has to do in this film. Because I know in Elie Noir they had like the, the face mapping of a lot of actors, and from that being Hayden Panettiere, is it? Uh, I'm assuming something similar this time. Okay, so this is kind of like the butterfly effect then. Butterfly flaps its wings in one city and causes a hurricane in another. The smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Okay, yeah, that's definitely a butterfly effect thing then. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Cool, I like decision-based games. I like things like this. That's one of my favourite things about Dragon Age is like how if you tell Dagna to go to university in the very first game, all the way years later when they finally brought out Inquisition, Dagna turns up. You know, it just it's just a little thing. It doesn't really affect the story in any noticeable way. But it's just this little shout out that they know that you did that thing back then. And you know, the decisions kind of bleed through the story, even though it takes place over years and years. It's really cool. I love things like that. Oh my god, this looks amazing! Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful! Is that a cabin in the woods scenario? Yeah, we gonna die. Deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. <sighs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, M. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. So are they together or not? Because if they are together, fair enough, she shouldn't be flirting. Or, or whatever she's doing. But if they're not, then why is he why is she being all like, he's my man? Because that's creepy as well. That would annoy me as Anna! well. What are they going to do? Oh no, I'm not liking the look of this at all. What are they going to do? <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? God, everyone is so skinny and wearing tiny tight clothes. Hey, Hannah. If I was in a cabin in the woods, I'd be wearing like 50 layers of the comfiest shit ever. Look at that snow, we don't want that. Ugh, no. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Well, I guess it's not, because there's Gosh. a murderer? I'm assuming in that glowy thing over there is something I can interact with. Oh, I'm playing, yes. Okay, right. Oh, the glowy thing here as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room, I guess that is, at 2am, Mike. So Mike's the guy and Hannah's the one that deserves it, right? Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Our, our naive sister? Time. Okay. So she must be her sister and someone else's. Both there are two guys there. Is she is she related to all of them? That's a big family. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing, man. This isn't the same object, is it? Yes, it is. I'm just on the other side of it. There's definitely something else glowing, though. So I'm gonna get. And find it instead of just walking to the same thing. <laughs> that was very clever of me. There was definitely something else glowing, I'm sure there was. 
Is it that there? Oh, this is really... Because the camera angle keeps changing, it's really confusing. There we go. I knew there was something else. Okay. Jeremiah Craig. Is that wine or...? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Okay, nice bit of exposition there. Obviously, that's the brother. Glad you can make it. And maybe the other guy, I'm not sure. Okay. So, is this a prank? Oh my god, they're all in the room, aren't they? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, this is really weird. No! They're all in there! Oh my god, she's taking her shirt off! What? Oh my god! Matt! They filmed it! What are you doing here? Oh my god, that's awful! Oh, Hannah! I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all good out of Just a stupid prank. Uh, don't you go in like the good guy! You guys are jerks! You know that? You fucking told Hannah. her to go in there! She was the one that shouted for her, right? What the hell? Use the right stick to choose. Okay, choose what? What am I choosing? Oh, I see. Find others, wait, Josh. Uh, find others, he's out for count. He's gonna be no use anyway. Guys, there's someone outside. I mean, if he's out because he's drunk, then waking up isn't gonna be any fucking use anyway. Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine, she just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. That's not a prank, that's fucking what did awful. You do? Just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Agreed. Hannah! The fuck? Hannah! So, should we go after her? Who are you? No, I, I swear he wasn't there a second ago. Right I don't like her taking the high road. She's just as bad as the rest of them. I mean, you know, she wasn't in the room, but she knew it was going to happen. She totally just let it happen. Uh, fast. Yeah, fast. Right, I'm not sick. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of quick time events, I see. Uh, footprints. I mean, she if she's just been through here, then the footprints would be there, because there's a blizzard, so if it was anybody else, then... Hi! Okay, that's fine. Shit. Fuck! Shit! <laughs> yeah. Damn oh my god, your legs must be freezing in those leggings. They're great for wandering around the house, sure, but outside in that? Oof. Like super warm body, super warm feet, freezing thighs! <laughs> oh, oh, use the touchpad, cool. Is that Tinder? <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, cool. Right, I'm with you. Nice. This is very cool. Yeah, I suppose it didn't specify what footprints they were. They... <laughs> Could have been deer. A little bit faster. Yes, let's do that so we don't freeze our titties off. What is that? It's a vision of death! Oh, death gem. Yeah, wonderful. Awesome. Just what we wanted! Jesus. I'm pressing L1, but she doesn't seem to be going any faster! No, I'm trying to drag the light this way, but she's not having it. Okay. There we go. It's better. Jesus, fucking fire. What the hell was that? A flamethrower, maybe? Oh, is that her? Hey sis! Might wanna put your chubs away. Yeah. Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. Oh, she has a butterfly tattoo, because it's the butterfly effect. I get it, I get it. And I see what he did there. 
Is that a predator? I mean, they are in the woods. Oh shit, and we lost the phone. Goody goody gumdrops. No. No. What is it? No. Oh, we're gonna fall. Oh shit, this is what we saw, wasn't it? The uh, totem, wasn't it? Yeah, death totem. Oh shit, me. Is it a dragon? Hold on! Like this is really like realistic. They don't usually have dragons in this kind of story. Uh... Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have just dropped her. But I don't if that guy could have... That was the guy with the knife, right? He probably would have, like, chopped my hand off anyway. Hi, Peter Snamare. Again, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Okay. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will... Okay, fourth wall. Fuck you. ...to those around you. I got it. Thank you. All right, PD, though. You're getting a bit close. So... You have committed to commence with this game. Yeah. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Thank you. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. He's enjoying this. He plays like All right. those kind of characters so well. We'll start with a simple <sighs> exercise. Mm -hmm. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Okay. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Oh yeah, oh yeah, remember now, this is one of those psychological things, isn't it, where it maps like your fears to the thing. Also, I think what he was saying there essentially is they were both going to die no matter what. So if I had dropped her, then that guy would have killed me, presumably. Okay, Scarecrow in a barn, lovely. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I mean, it kind of reminded me of Life is Strange. Uh, not the scarecrow, obviously, but the barn. Yeah, it makes me happy. I feel uneasy. Neither. It's just there. Um, I guess happy. I'm certainly not uneasy. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Uh, yeah, it's peaceful. Oh. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here, all by yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Huh. I'm an antisocial and what motherfucker. What you that this cottage was haunted? Eh. I mean, it depends. Uh, a level-headed response. <laughs> but everyone is fighting or something. Yeah. I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really do. It depends if ghosts are real in this universe, really. Because if they are, then I'd, I'd be less happy about it. Sorry, we're out of time. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Okay! Is he qualified? 
I, I don't know many therapists who immediately go, let's find out what you're afraid of. That's a bit weird. <laughs> okay, Peter. You, you, you have fun up there singing to yourself. <laughs> that was weird. It's an interesting opening, though. I like it. Oh, I love this song. Yeah. Oh, the, song, the version I know is Another Day. I mean, this is an old folk song, I guess. It's been redone many times. They use it in uh, Supernatural, I think. Hayden Panetti. Yeah, that, that was it. I knew that was her name. Yeah, this is a much faster version than the one I know. year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Okay, so that was like a prequel then. Washington, the twins who are still I forgot to put subtitles on again. I do apologize. Just noticed that. And headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be is this an ancient My Indian burial ground thing? The girls themselves couldn't have made it that so That's far. a bit overdone. Something about that mountain seems and of course, a sanatorium. Okay. And you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons Ooh, nice tonight, nails. and her son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Oh, I like that there's even like dust well, specks on the lens. That's friends awesome. And fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, really? and I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for... For the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, alright? Yes! That sounds ominous. I really don't like him. I feel bad, because I think that's just what the actor looks like, but there's something about him that makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, season four of Supernatural, I think, when Death comes into it, it's like the best introduction for a character ever. It just strolls down the street looking, looking cool, and the sun's out of the background, and it's just like, oh, it's so good. I'm not even the biggest Supernatural fan, but that sequence was beautiful. So good. This is so weird, though. Like, if my sisters had died, 
I would do a reunion, I think. I think that would be a nice thing to do, but I wouldn't do it in the place they fucking died. The hell's wrong with you, man? I'd do something completely different, I think. Like, the point is that they're all there together. You don't have to do it in the same place. Do, do Go to, like, fucking Mexico or something, you know? Get everyone in bikinis, make it totally different so that you're all together, sort of... Um... Doing a memorial thing together, but not in the sense of, like, super morbid, this is where they died. That's weird. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Okay. Hello? Is there someone having a cheeky wank in the woods? Someone there? And a cheeky Nando's. That's an old thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nine o'clock. Oh, wait. Um. Ooh, status and collection. Okay. Let's have a look. Subtitles. Yes. Sidebar text. Uh, don't. I think I'm good. What's left? Ah, okay. Current objective. And then we've got character traits and relationship status. Charitable, honest. Not very funny. Brave. Not very romantic. Kind of curious, but kind of not. Okay. Any of your business? That's... Oh, I think these might be decisions during the game. Oh, I don't want to look at those then. I mean, none of that means anything to me anyway. Point blank. I mean, that's a film. <laughs> Do we decide whether or not to watch it? I don't know. Totems. Oh, that's the death totem that I found, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's lots of them. There's death, guidance, loss, danger, and fortune. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six of each. Do I get something if I get all of them? Is there like a... I don't know, does it reveal something that kind of... Oh, they're different colours. Okay, so that's how you tell. The death ones are black. Right, okay. Mystery man. 1952? No idea. The twins. No idea. Okay, well, that's cool. I'll uh, look into that more as we get more things, I suppose. I like that skirt. Like, the effect, it's pretty, but also the effect of it kind of, uh, the, the swishing motion is nice. I mean, I'm not surprised because the graphics are phenomenal in this, but. Alrighty then. Okay, but I don't see anything glinting. Am I supposed to be seeing some- oh, right, right there. Am I supposed to be seeing something glinting? Where is it? Where is it? Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, what? The gate's busted. Why are you shaking? Shut up. Climb over, Chris. I don't know why she was shaking like that, that was super weird. Oh, is there anything on the back? I forgot to look. Oh, I can't now. Okay. Oh, Jesus, never mind. I was trying to look at the back of the note, but didn't find. Climb over. Oh, climb over here. Good, because I don't want to climb over the spikes of death. Uh, yeah, let's go quick. Why not? Does that mean I have to do another QTE? Yeah. Uh, ooh, wrong one. I keep using the left stick instead of the right one because I'm a moron. I made it. Yay! I'm so going to miss some of those later on in the game. I know I am. I'm glad I played a few games before this though, because if I was playing this just after the Xbox, there would be no chance I'd get them, because I'd be so confused as to which button was where. <laughs> uh, if you haven't watched any of my older videos, I've literally just played Xbox for like quite a few years now, and I only got this PlayStation this year. Um, so at first I was very like, oh hello! Hey, little fella. Don't move, I can't use on the screen. Huh? Okay. Not even... okay. Cutie. Where did you get nuts from? What the fuck? Okay. That was nice. If you're unsure what to do next, you can... by pressing R1. Oh, okay, that just takes us to this dummy. Okay. So yeah, so the, the first few games I played was a little bit like X, I'm pressing X, I'm pressing X, and then about five minutes later I would realise I was actually pressing square, because that's where the X button is on the Xbox. 
So it took a little bit of getting used to. I had a PlayStation before the Xbox though, so again, that took a bit of getting used to, but I think we're good now, kind of balanced. Indigenous people and butterfly <laughs> prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Right, so that's what I was looking at before. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I mean, I already found that in the start menu, so that's fine. Oh! What a coinky dink! Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! I know! Pick it. Okay. Thank you. What we get? Yellow ones. I can't remember what yellow was. It's a bird guidance totem. Okay. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Well, it's not very much. There's not much guidance, then, is it? This may or may not happen depending on what you do. But uh, I hope that helps. Alrighty then. What does that say? The past is beyond our control. Wow, graffiti all the way up here? Yes, yes it is, unless you are the doctor, who is now a lady, which is freaking people out. I have no idea why. Chris? But it is. Here? My favorite, I, th I saw a tweet, I can't remember who did it unfortunately, but there was a great tweet, was this guy was like, oh, the doctor should be more than just wank fodder. Americans watching, if you don't know, wank means masturbation. You're having a wank, you're jerking off or whatever you say. Um, <laughs> like, nobody ever has wanked over the men. Because women and, you know, people attracted to men don't exist. And uh, someone had retweeted it with just, uh, I've got some bad news for you. <laughs> Not in the bag, are you? A vibrating phone? Uh, Snoop. Snoop doesn't sound good. If it was like, maybe I should answer the phone, then I would have, but oh, shit, maybe I should have answered it. If somebody died because I didn't answer the phone. Sam, hey, okay. It. it was just the word Snoop didn't sound good. Has a crush on Ashley. She's not Ashley though. No, she's Sammy, just said that though. Methodical, protective, humorous. Okay. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Okay. Right around here. Gonna I didn't look around behind. enough. I hope I haven't missed anything there. Maybe there's something... Oh, I can look around now. I'm just going to double check that there wasn't anything over here. Uh, I don't think there is, but, you know. Just with a look. Oh, there's a shiny deck. See? Could have missed something. I could have missed a locked door. I'm so glad I went back and checked. Okay. Let's just go. Let's go, Scooby-Doo. You're looking into things too much. Ooh, hello, Sparky Sparky. Wanted. Milgram. Victor Milgram, sorry. Sex male, height 6 foot 2. Uh, scene. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offence. Oh, as well as various. Oh, so it wasn't a dragon then, it was a man with a flamethrower. <laughs> Makes slightly more sense. Doesn't explain why he's was seeing, like, literally seeing red. Like, he's just that angry. Anyone with information should contact the police. Okay, right. There's no picture. The picture has been torn off. Interesting. What are you standing there for? Oh. Okay. Pretty rad, right? Um. Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, what are we looking at? The word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range? Oh, it's a shooting range. The okay. Uh, that makes more sense. I could just see the frame. I was like, what the fuck yeah. is this? He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. <laughs> Want to try? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, now you go ahead. I mean, I'm not saying I want to go, you know, shoot a human in the face, but, you know, it'd be pretty cool to have a go. Okay. I'm pressing it. Why are you not shooting? I know.
Hello? I'm pressing the right trigger. The fuck, man? I don't think your targets are going anywhere. What the hell? I've, I've pressed it about 50 times. Why is it not letting me shoot? Use the right stick to aim, yes. Press right trigger to shoot. That's, yeah, that's definitely not the right one. Sorry, right two, not right trigger. I know! I have no idea why this isn't working. I'm just going to try and click out of the tutorial thing, I don't know if that'll help. No, it didn't. That is the wrong button completely. Okay, a little more shooting and a little less preening, huh? I'm trying, bitch. <laughs> oh. Shush. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, I'm so blind. Now I can shoot it. I was so desperate to shoot this one over here. Okay. Oh, well, that was bad. Wow. Shoot the one with the target on it. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a Hell yeah! I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Yeah, well, bitch! Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Rude. What? Oh! She's not gonna tell me. She was feeding him before. She's not gonna tell me to shoot squirrel, is she? Okay, no. Good. Shot. Thank you. Just got sacked. <sighs> what? Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Oh, is that a choice thing? Because I didn't shoot the squirrel. On, I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel. He's just hungry. But it was the gun. <laughs> Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back over here. Over here. Over here. Yeah, I like the smooth kind of transitioning between playing different characters. Fast. Yeah, I, I turned up here playing as Sam and now I'm playing as Chris and it, just, it was just kind of seamless. There wasn't any kind of, oh, what the fuck, I'm a different character now. It's just, it's nice and smooth. It must be really hard on Josh. I it's already locked, we tried this. Door's locked. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That does not sound very warm and cozy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Oh, itchy nose. Ooh, snowboarding. I don't know why I announce when I'm itchy. Let's go snowboarding. I'm stuck on the, the whoa. Car was there we go. Can you go in here? You I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is it? Find hotel and hotel and sanatorium. What a, a healthy body and mind. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. <laughs> they bought the whole mountain. That's fucking crazy. What's going on here? Is that a bath? Did that just change? Because I know that was a bath. Oh my god, that's fucked up. That is creepy. So somebody must be watching this room as well, because it changed as soon as I looked at it. Right? That that's a th yeah. What the hell's going on? So it, it, maybe it's that flamethrower dude. Maybe he's got like loads of cameras set up everywhere. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but. Maybe he was setting it up and they caught him, so he pretended to be sleeping there. Let's go. Yes, enter car. Just like going to the prom. Okay. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting 
everyone together on the anniversary. Mm -hmm. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. He talks like me with the hands. <laughs> No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. Again, I think Later it's a good on. idea. I just don't think it's a good idea to do it there. Well, good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved So to she back. ended he ended up sitting next to her, obviously. And him and even. next to Josh. That's how we met. Oh my god. I mean, really, Sam, you couldn't piece the <laughs> you couldn't put those things together. That was oh my god. That Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day <laughs> decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra. Why is it training no, bra? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Like, are you training your tits right now, for the Olympics? I, that is not a thing we have in the UK, as far as I know. Boom. Somebody please explain this to me. <laughs> oh, I see. Butterfly bitch. Right. That was all exposition. Gotcha. Training bra. Because to me, that sounds like you're wearing something to try and encourage your boobs to get bigger, maybe? I don't know. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting, irreverent, fucking hell. She's got a weird smile. Boy, oh boy, <laughs> new people, time to meet and greet. Ooh. Meet and greet. Is there any shinies? <gasps> what the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? The hell? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Like him. Hey! <laughs> well, oh, well, I thought he was well, going for a well, thigh there to see how like edible goodness. she is. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, yeah. I mean, she's his boyfriend. Mike and I'm split. We're together. He's her boyfriend. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. So she can do whatever the fuck she wants. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam. We just told them that it, they're dating, so I mean, yeah. Holy cow. True. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. The mouth looks really weird there. They built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends. She's got a voice that sounds like she's going to be a bitch, but I kind of like the bitches generally. <laughs> Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. Yeah, cool. I, don't think it would I like her already. Pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Oh, he was the guy that was randomly there that was just like, who the fuck are you, dude? He didn't have any lines in the beginning. Motivated, ambitious, and active. Yeah, he does look like the no. uh, token the jock. Bellboy when you need one. Bellboy. Oh, that's like the hotel dudes, right? I think. I don't think we have those in England either. Oh, we do. We just give him a different name. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting. I get chills. Oh, they multiply. Yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Totally. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. No. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Jesus! 
Hmm. That didn't sh- scare me very much for some reason. That was just kind of like a, okay. <laughs> Mike. Oh, it's him again. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. Okay. Well, you say that, but... <laughs> you guys. Michael! I'm not a fan. You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, oh my god, that would have been amazing cool. if you did. Guys, we're <gasps> all friends here, right? That would have been no hilarious. a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. Our just friends are dead. Things. Seriously, what's wrong with you? I know, right? Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Awkward. Uh. Back off? I don't want to threaten him, but Michael, like. You gotta step off. Chill the fuck out, dude. You're really annoying Emily me. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. Okay, I mean. I'm not gonna tell you again. I don't see what the fuck that has to do with anything. Well, I thought maybe we can move past all this. Be buds, but. Yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? I, I was just being like, stop being a dick, as opposed to like, my girlfriend. What? Hey, could you- Me caveman. <laughs> the rest of the way. The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. Why can't you talk to her when it's important. you're there? Matt, please. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't want to do the alpha thing again because that was weird, but I really don't think it's a good idea to leave her on her own. Ah, oh, fuck it, she'll be fine. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about it. Even? What? Careful. What? You up there I have no you. idea what they're fucking talking Thank about. You. I'm so confused by this conversation. I have no idea if I'm doing, like, good decisions here or not. Oh. Has a crush on Chris. Did Chris have- Chris? Did Chris have a crush? Did Chris have a crush on Ashley? Why aren't they just going out? No. Oh. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. If she's so forthright, why doesn't she just like, Hey you! Is she totally bone? Yes. <laughs> Oh, hello. Whoa, hello. That's what I said. Somebody's getting a little friendly. I'm not in the friend zone kind of way. Friend zone is a myth. Check the expiration date on their big breakup. I mean, they're just talking. The hands over the face thing was a bit weird, but. Oh! oh God. <laughs> oh. Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. And I feel like this is going to be a theme. Jesus. To scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my god! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not, it's not like really interesting. It's just. What? Uh, for real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Um, well, I don't want to insist because that's weird. But it's like they weren't um, actually doing like, anything; they were just talking. Yourself. And even if they were, it's none of my fucking business anyway. Son of a. Bitch. Oh, okay, now they're cuddling. Seriously, Emily? What the hell? Man? Still. Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. nothing. Yeah, exactly. Well, just cuddling. Ever just nothing with him? Although she did say she was going to see Sam. Matt. I don't know, I, it really bugs me in films and things when, you know, the girlfriend goes apeshit because she sees the guy doing something really innocuous but it just looks wrong and then she won't listen to the explanation. And it's usually that way around as well. 
So, nice to see the other way around, I guess, but I really hate that kind of thing. Like, if you're with someone, you've got to fucking trust them. Uh, yeah, read the book, whatever. So, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, you did not just do that. Well, that was pretty great. Where I can see We've got you surrounded. <laughs> the hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh, this is weird. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh! Yas, right in the face. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickpea? Oh, this is so weird. It's making me kind of uncomfortable. I feel like I'm watching people have sex. Like, not in a porn way, in a... Oh, snap! I just opened the curtains and they're there kind of way. Hello, birdie! Hello! <laughs> Hey Mike! Boom, yeah, they're totally getting it on in this music, man. <laughs> oh, she is kicking his ass! Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Me, okay. I know all your tricks. Oh, I'm not throwing a snowball at the bird. What the hell? What kind of dick move is that? There we go. Oh no, are they gonna bone like right now? So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> wow. You'd know so if I did. Yeah, probably. All right, all right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Hell yeah. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the snowball because I'm a douche. Ah. Oh ho ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Oh, I made it worse. Well, I made it worse. I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Oh, thank God. We should get up the lodge. Yeah. No I penis just for you just though. yet. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, uh -huh. I could stay out uh -huh. here uh -huh. uh -huh. ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I'll make a nice puddle. Of melted snow, I mean, not of, like, pee or... sperm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making this more awkward, aren't I? Oh dear. <laughs> oh hi Peter. How's it going there, buddy? Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? I asked you first, dude. Someone consider it. Seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session. Yeah, you seem kind of annoyed about that. Is it because I wasn't afraid of things? Okay. This time, uh -huh. we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. That's a big now, question, my man. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Oh, men for sure. Men have a weird habit of like picking me up like a rag doll and it really creeps me out. They just throw me around because I'm kind of small. Well, I'm not small, I guess I'm like average height, but you know. Uh, crowds. I do not trust people! That's why I hide here on my own all day. <laughs> uh, drowning, I fear heights. Oh, I think I fear drowning more than heights. I quite like heights actually. Not wrong way. Neither? I, I like rats and snakes. Um... I 
rats, I guess. I mean, I'd love pet rats, but I'd prefer snakes, I think. So, based on the fact that I like snakes more. <laughs> Neither of them scare me, though. Guns are scary, knives are scary, knives are scary, man. That shit is personal. Uh, rats, cockroaches. Again, neither, I guess, cockroaches? You're not saying much, bro. Uh, well, that kind is fucking terrifying. What's so going on with his Grinch mouth? Gore or crows? Uh,. I guess? Yeah? Disgusts me? Yes, okay, I thought it was scares me. Oh. <laughs> you fucker! Yeah, you. So sorry. <laughs> You're doing very well. You little shit. Well, I was until you did that, you prick. Try to. Oh, you didn't mention him now, okay. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. Uh, cockroaches. I quite like spiders. My friend, my a friend of mine had hissing cockroaches though, and they're cool as fuck. Uh, God discuss me, I fear needles. God discuss me, needles don't bother me at all. Uh, I mean, God doesn't really bother me that much, but I find God more disgusting than uh, zombies. I think I quite fear the idea of being eaten alive. That sounds awful. Like the pain of it. Oh. Oh no, I love dogs. I don't fear them at all. Fuck that. See, this is going to make it look like I think gore is like the worst thing ever, but it's really not. Again, I love storms, so gore. But only by default. Gore doesn't really bother me that much. A little bit, yeah, but... Thank you for answering so diligently. You're welcome. Cockroaches. Yeah. Zombies. An awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Yeah, I think the zombies are the only one that actually scare me a little bit. Like cockroaches, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't really, I wouldn't want to be covered in them, but I'm not really that fussed. Same with the gore. I, I mean, in real life, it's probably worse because it smells as well. That would be, that'd be the worst part. The smell, not the sight. Okay. Well, I know what happened previously. I was there, like right now. Uh, but the whole eating alive thing that that horrifies me. Oh, come on, she deserves it. Be so Anna! painful. Can I skip this? What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, okay. Han. Han. Oh, it's Machete Mike. Oh no, it can't be Mike because it's already a Mike. Wait, machete. I can't think of any other M names. Come on. First off, I gotta say I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the match? annual. Do we have a match? I think we have a match as well. Away. God damn it. I really want to spend some quality time with each and Machete every one of Melvin. Them. That's what I'm gonna call Here's him. Some moments that we'll never forget. For for the sake of my sister. Okay then. I need to go find Sam. Son of a bitch. Uh, so I mean, they could have been like, you know, I'm sorry about what happened between us and, and Boom. hugging it out. Terrifying. That's okay. I mean, yeah, she did lie about who she was going to see, which is a bit weird. Man, I feel like this mountain gets yeah. bigger every time I climb Jealousy. it. Jealousy. Great. It feels the same to me. Hello, Josh. Yeah, it's something about his eyes. They're just kind of. I don't know, man. Complex, thoughtful, loving. Come on, you grew up here. It's probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some? It's just kind of a bit. I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare I don't even like, know how to describe right, it. I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here, okay? Yeah. Oh, more or less. There's something a little malicious about the way he looks at people. I think. What's up with him? Like he's talking to them, but he's also thinking about how best to eat them. <laughs> I think I just snorted a bit there, I apologize. <laughs> it's cheeky wank yo, man. Yo, yo. We get things moving up here yo, yo, yo. Yeah, man. Uh gossip now. Hey. You doing alright? I mean I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that No, I know what you meant. 
you know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Yeah, that's... He's really weirding me out. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. I mean, I'm glad that he's not, like, crying and everything, yeah, but he really shouldn't be over it either, in, after a long. year. So, presumably, like, he's quite close to his sisters, get, like, get open or something. since Basically, they were on holiday we together. Should, we should break in. <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Yeah, he's one of those guys that, like, makes jokes that make you a little bit uncomfortable. Like, takes things a bit too far, That that's hey, kind of the, the vibe I'm getting off him. Uh, yeah. So, how are you doing? Mm, good, but a little cold. That's confident? I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Totally gonna get it on. They're the ones that fancy each other, right? I think so, yes. Anything? Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? I mean, she's looking pretty cold because we're on she's a snow-covered mountain. Kind of gal, you know. Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Uh, what the fuck, man. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, if you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Okay. Listen, what is look a sleeper around, gal? Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Um... I mean, I agree in a sense, but I don't agree with the whole... Like his seduction technique. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? And what if she she might not like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. I mean, yeah, it, they should like fly out and see where things go, or whatever. But so it's just the way he was talking about it. It was like much, I don't want to do that. I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. That's all you care about, man. Shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Can I go up here? Is there something up here? This looks like a secret area. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go towards the flashy thing. Damn, I'm getting pretty low in juice here. I just had to turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. What is this thing? I mean, obviously it's a cabinet, but what's inside it? Why is it just there? <laughs> oh. Is that a, is that an axe thing? It looks empty. Yeah, there's nothing there. Who took the axe? <sighs> Wow, great security there. Nicely done. Your hand okay. is clipping through the window frame. I paid more attention in climbing class. The fuck is climbing gym? class? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. That's normal. Did I do that? Yes. With your psychic I, I powers. So. Here, use this. Thanks, buddy. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. I doubt yeah? it. Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some... Flamethrower, really? ...one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. One oh, just like we did with our friends. Bye-bye, <laughs> frozen lock. Bingo. Yeah, we totally used to do that. Like, set each other's shoes on fire and stuff. We were horrible children. <laughs> oh, you spray your arm. Don't do this. We were terrible children. This is not a good idea. You'd spray your arm with deodorant and then light it, and the thing would, like, the deodorant would burn, but your skin wouldn't. 
not a good idea, though, because, you know, your skin might burn afterwards. So don't, uh, do not try this at home, kiddies, and all that kind of thing. Okay. Oh, is that another toto? I think it is. Was that another yellow one? Gui guidance was that, I think? Uh, it's like... Nice! Oh, it's loss. Okay. It looks yellow to me. Maybe they're just... Okay. Uh, righty then. Okay, that was just a rat or something. It's fine. It's fine. I ain't scared of no rats. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna plant thing over there. This is just, this is just a corridor. Okay, I thought they were sat rooms going off to the side. Oh, huh? That's cool. Clue found. Okay, so that's what were they called? Beth and Hannah, and Josh and the parents. Okay. Well, presumably the parents, anyway. Yeah, that's not weird. How was it? I have no idea. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, if it was locked, that would be weird, but I guess that could happen. Hi! Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Fucking children this time. Can you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. I, mean, I don't think a flamethrower is a good idea for a frozen lock. I feel like if you just held the lighter under it long enough, it would melt. Well, no, that's not the way I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go over here. Thank you. You know, slow and steady wins the race and all that. What the fuck was that? Something definitely smashed there. Oh, this... Has nobody been here for a year? Because this place is going to take some heating, if that's the case. What's with all the whispering? I feel like I'm definitely going the wrong way. <laughs> we light some candles up in this bitch. Oh. Oh, his finger went weird there. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Can I leave? We've been through the yeah. case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. Okay. We don't have the legal power to restrict his move. Who? I know it's not what you wanted. Is this the wanted guy? If you want to know more. Maybe. End of messages. Ah, uh, what is she doing? <laughs> Ready for senior prom. Hannah Sam Mike Emily, 2013. Am I going upstairs? Where the fuck's the- what am I looking for? The bathroom? For the deodorant? It's a squeaky house. Oh, the window's open, that's probably why. Can I do anything? No? Okay. I'm just gonna ignore that. That's fine. <laughs> I'm so gonna get lost in this place. Ah! Bathroom. Wait. Is that the bath from the video and the security camera? Is that... Is someone got camera in here? Cameras in this house? <laughs> oh, 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 you little shit. Oh, dude, it had red Satan eyes. Fucking hell. <laughs> Perfect. That is not deodorant, though. That was, like, fly spray or something, I think. We're freezing our buns off out here. 
What is it with buns? Why is everyone talking about buns? Okay. Are we not? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did you just put your bare hand on the thing that you set on fire? Ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? I have no okay? idea. It's like a bear or a tiger or something. <laughs> oh, it was just a cute little baby wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. I don't... It was like an evil wolverine on steroids. It had red eyes. Okay, whatever. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Right, oh douche. Gosh, so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in Yeah, I bet it is. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been it's up Because nobody's been there, clearly. Are police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. I don't know why I did that. Her voice just annoyed me a bit there. Make yourself a <laughs> that, that was go a bit do. creepy. Yeah. Is he going to go psycho and kill in. us all? Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Uh, challenge or warn? Warn, I guess? Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Uh, yeah, back off, dude. The fuck? Right. Right. And What's going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Yeah. I mean, like, yes, she's his girlfriend, but at the end of the day, she can make her own fucking decisions, and just because you say keep away doesn't mean that she's gonna. You know, it, it, women aren't possessions to just fucking pass around. I hate this much of oh, bullshit. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I'm They're not even kissing. Any more obvious? They're just sitting there. No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse oh my me? god. Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Mr. Oh my god. Get out. You're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that at all. Emily too frigid for you two. Hey, that's... that's uncalled... Look... Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. On a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the... Oh, my God. Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, stop. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! Christ. This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. Okay, if we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah, yeah, all right. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It's Christ. right up the trail. Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Well, I mean, oh my god. I know I said I usually like the bitches, but... Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Whoa. Well, I... Do you? Why is everything such a fight? You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. 
I hate all of them. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna go take a bath. we should do all the decisions that just kill them all. Wait, is she going to take a bath in the one that's being like videoed? <sighs> oh God. Child. Sex child. <laughs> <laughs> Burr. Who says burr? Anyway? <laughs> like, if you're cold, you shiver. You don't actually say shiver, do you? Love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. Uh, yeah, because nobody's been up there for years. Or oh, a year at least. Can I see her pants? Yeah. Gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see it. Uh, gross. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. Yeah. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Probably. You wanna invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. And on that bizarre note, I'm going to leave it because I have overran quite a bit, but uh, I, was, I just got sucked into the weird bitchiness that was going on. A um, couple of good jump scares. I, I like the mechanics and the style of the game. Not a big fan of QTEs, um, but I like the whole like playing as everyone and the, the making decisions and all that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. So I'm intrigued to see where this will go. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I haven't even fucking started yet, man.